likely friendship forged in the fires of adversity. That's the story for Jim and Patience. More than 50 years separate them, but their battle with cancer unifies them. Local 4's Casey Mintz sat down with them, and he joins us now in studio with their story. Casey? Brandon Scott's Bluff to Omaha. Almost 500 miles, Jim Hickey committed to doing that distance on foot. All for this little girl's fight with cancer. But halfway through, he would be faced with his own set of circumstances. Take a look. She walked me over and she said we found a mess in her brain. And I, you know, I lost it because I have a newborn baby at home and, you know, I have three other kids. At just a few years old, Patience was already in a fight for her life. She was diagnosed with a rare form of brain cancer, and that battle was tough for everyone in her young life. It was, it was so hard, and it was so hard to wrap your head around it, and, you know, it was, it was very difficult. It was a dark time in my life. It was hard to, it was hard to cope with it. And when all seemed darkest for the little girl and her family, Jim Hickey stepped in as a ray of light. That's one tough little girl. She's my inspiration. Just one picture. That was all Jim needed to convince him to walk across the entire state of Nebraska starting in 2021. He um, hit me up through Purse for Patients. My sister made a page on Facebook um, to kind of let our family know what was going on with patients. And um, he messaged me through that, asked if he can do a walk for her. Um, we accepted. We met in Scoff's Bluffs. And... Um, we went from there and, you know, halfway through he um, had his own battle. We got on the road and um, made it 360, you know, out of the 500 miles I had planned to walk. But um, as luck would have it, right before I started and left, uh, you know, New York, I started getting blood in my urine. And Jim had to take a break from walking and he went to Colorado for treatment for his own case of cancer, but he knew he was always going to finish that walk. But you know, you break a promise to an eight-year-old girl with, a, with brain cancer, that's one way to take it to hell. And <laughs> I don't want to go there. <laughs> and as he went through his own journey, there was one goal he was always working towards. He said, I'm going to finish this walk. He never let us down. You know, when he was battling his own his own, you know, surgeries and everything. He still kept in contact and he still prayed for us. You know, he still, he, his number one goal was to finish. Both Jim's father and his brother battled cancer. And he says, as he does the walk through Nebraska, he's seen how prevalent the disease is, but he says the communities need to rally around those fighting and their families. It's really sad that almost every town you'll find somewhere there's a child there battling cancer. Uh, you know, help them, you know, get get them, you know, get, get your community involved with them, you know, have some, you know, have fundraisers for them. And as Jim starts his walk back up, he has good news on patients' condition. And right now she's just in remission. Um, she does growth hormone treatments. We do scans every six months. She loves her doctors and nurses, you know, so she's doing good. And Jim has some wise advice for everyone. Start something, finish it. Start something, finish it. And Mason, I mean, Brandon, uh, Jim is finishing that walk hopefully by March 15th. Then March 18th, he and Patience will meet with Governor Jim Pillen. And Jim Pillen is set to name it as Patience Day in Nebraska. It's a beautiful thing. And Casey, we saw in the story, Patience is in remission. But how is Jim doing? He's doing well. He told me that he's doing well. And after he's done with the walk, he'll return for treatment in late March. Wow, Casey, great story. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Well, let's